All right, so today I wanted to talk about four exercises that are going to be really helpful in building your posterior chain and making it a lot harder for your opponent to be able to break your posture in judo or any other grappling sport. The first exercise on the list is the zercher squat. This exercise is extremely useful at building some mental toughness, building up your core, your lower back, your upper back, your traps, as well as building a strong foundation with your legs. I just posted a video the other day on how to do a zercher squat, but the main points here are have the bar in the crooks of your elbows, hinge at the hips, bend your knees, have the bar go to your thigh, and then stand back up. Some of the benefits compared to a back squat is that there's a much greater core and lower back activation, so if you're looking to not have your posture broken, this is going to build up your core a lot stronger than any sort of other squat. Now the second exercise is the zercher lunge, another zercher variation. Here we're doing a front lunge, so we step forward and then push back. This is to simulate the motion of someone trying to pull us forward. We have to take a step forward and then we repel that motion and move backwards. Some of the benefits here are that this is a unilateral exercise with elements of cross body stabilization and anti-rotation. This is useful because no one is trying to break our posture by pulling on both of our shoulders with equal force, so we need to have a strong core that can resist rotation. Now the next exercise on the list is the deficit deadlift. The reason why we're doing a deficit is we want to get that full range of motion and have our strength in that end range. Because if someone breaks our posture and pulls us all the way down, we want to be able to be strong enough to stand straight back up. Another benefit is that we can't go as heavy, so it's not as taxing on our central nervous system, and it won't affect the rest of our training as much as if we did a conventional regular deadlift. And the last exercise on the list is the Jefferson deadlift. Note how I am putting my feet in a more 90 degree angle to try and make it more specific to my judo stance. This exercise can be quite specific to judo as we are quite literally trying to resist breaking our posture in our judo stance. Some points to note is I make sure to bend over quite a bit in order to get that posterior chain development and I try to keep my back as neutral and as straight as possible. Alright those are the four exercises. I hope this video helps you and if it does let me know in the comments. Make sure to like the video to support the channel and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and of course I'll see you in the next video.